with uh, 100 pounds of locks and uh, got 10 more on the mat today that I'm going to go through and uh, been trying to get a little less long-winded so if I go through them real quick I'm not losing steam still love doing this still love going through these old locks no matter what they are <laughs> and uh, but I am going to try to speed it up for you because some of these videos are a lot longer than they need to be <laughs> so anyway uh, just to show you this is what we've been through in the second basket and this is what we still need to go through so there's a lot of goodies in there now on to the 10 for today we'll just start with this Illinois lock because it's right smack dab in the middle uh, this is a wafer tumbler with a two-sided key which is pretty neat um, made in USA Chicago Illinois but I really like those and you know, I, I know how to get the core out. I just don't know how to make the stinking key for them. So I might just try to find a core for it or something like that. Or I might just let somebody else mess with it. I'll sell it on eBay or something like that. Let somebody else mess with it. But anyway, Illinois Lock Co. No other writing on it. Uh, neat little lock. Next, uh, nothing too fancy. I think it's a 140, Master 140. Yep. Um... <laughs> I'll say it again. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These old brass locks just get a beautiful patina on them. No matter how cheap they are, no matter what brand they are, that brass just ages so nicely. I actually have not a, not a 140, but a brass laminated master lock hanging on my fence right now that I'm just growing patina on. So, uh, very nice little lock there. Master 140. These are, these are good if you're starting out and you want to deal with spools because these usually have one or two spools in them. So, uh, if you're or if you're watching this as kind of a new picker or interested in picking, this is this is a good one uh, to start off. Well, not to start with, but to work your way up to maybe like a step two or three or something like that. Next, we got a rust proof. Uh, not sure who the manufacturer of this was, but um, little pot belly lock, warded, heavy because it's got the brass body. Shackle moves nicely, but uh, no idea who made this neat little keyway. You know, not your standard, just straight keyway with these warded locks. So, um, no other writing on it, but uh, just a little rust proofed. And we have another Reese, and this one is looks. It looks either like it got a wire re a wire wheel treatment, or it looks brand new. I mean, um, you know, compared to some of the other ones that we've done. I probably don't have any within reach, but compared to some of the other ones we've done, this is in really good shape um, as far as like rust goes and all that kind of stuff. Had a sticker on the back. I think the two sides say the same thing. But anyway, it's got a uh, working key, um, and it is a uh, manufacturer's working key, so that's cool. Original working key with that. So another Reese, and that one's in pretty darn good shape. I've got one in about every every condition possible now. <laughs> um, I can't remember. This said General on it. I was going to say Union, but it says General on it. And um, it's it's kind of a neat little padlock. Uh, I don't know what that says. General Lock Corp. I'm going to look at it over the camera real quick. General Lock Corp. Then it says something else. I don't know. Lancaster PA is what it says. So... I'm not sure, sorry about that, but uh, um, I think it's a warded lock, but it's really cool. It's got, it's laminated, and then it's got uh, it's like a steel cover on it, so that's pretty neat that they bent that over that, and then they stamped their name into it, but uh, let's see, Made in USA on it, so um, just a neat old general. It's got hardened on the shackle. Or, excuse me, patent pending on the shackle. I thought it said hard. Well, it does say hard on their side. But anyway, that's the general. i uh, never seen one like this before, so it's a neat guy. Jeez, I'm getting out of breath talking so fast. Um, got another Corbin. We've seen these before. Just a wafer tumbler. No other writing that I can see. But uh, no key. But just a little silver Corbin for tumbler uh this one is pretty cool this is a warded but 
Look at that profile. <laughs> I mean, that is just cool. Man, if they made locks like this today, people would just be buying them to collect anyways. But um, just a Corbin. I uh, can't find any other writing on it. But um, nothing nothing too fancy about the, the innards. But just a neat-looking old lock. That's the way they used to do it. And I like them like that. Okay, next we got this Yardini, and I've seen these before. They're they're uh, interesting locks. They got a horseshoe on the back of the key, and this one looks like it's a five pin. So Yardini little horseshoe logo. I'm not sure who makes that. Sounds Italian or something like that. <laughs> but uh, working key, original working key. Here's the binny. Pretty looks like pretty straight across there. But anyway, there's the Yardini. It's kind of kind of looks like one of the masters, but the uh, the keyway is off to the side there, so a little bit different. But once again, beautiful beautiful patina on that. No other writing on that. Um, second to last, we got this master, and I like these masters because they're different. You know, they're a laminated padlock, and the biggest difference I like about them is the the band is all steel. Now, the newer ones I don't think is. I think they just use the black rubber, but the older ones have that really cool steel band. And I make keychains out of these. I don't have one within reach, but I make keychains out of these, and um, they turn out pretty good. So I might have to make a keychain out of one of these, but probably not this one because I got a bunch I don't have the keys for. This one has... I don't know if those are original keys. No, nope, they're just copies, but... Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't have one with the keys like that. So, anyway, and I like this faux leather finish. I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what inspired him to do that. If it's, like, better for weatherizing or makes it stronger. But I always thought that was a funny thing they did with those. Was that faux leather, like, texture on it. But, anyway, I think these are 37s. Let's see. Yep, 37. So, Master Lock 37, then. I guess I can show you open it real quick, in case you haven't seen one of these. Uh, come on, you. Okay. Sorry, I was doing that through the camera. But yeah, that's the shackle. So the shackle's in, like, pieces, and this connects the two pieces. And then, I think these are for trailer hitches and stuff like that, you know. They, I saw them a lot on campers when I was a kid, so... I think that's mainly what they're for, so people don't steal your camper. But uh, anyway, that's Master 37. And last but not least, we got this talk. And that, I don't know if you remember in the last video. Let me dig it out here. Um, let's see. Here it is. I was talking about this lock with that logo, and I said, I swore I see it some, I've seen it before somewhere, and sure enough, it was in this lot. <laughs> but anyway, talk. It's a um, talk cylinder, and these are made. In Western Germany. Yep, made in Western Germany, just like that one. This one has a little bit more info on it. It's a number 113 with a solid brass pin tumbler cylinder. Hardened shackle and double locking. So it's got the poles or the dogs on both sides. But um, this is a talk. And it's got that cool gold finish on it, which held up really well. But uh, And you can see it's a pin tumbler. Instead of a... Uh, instead of awarded or whatever that was, so really cool little lock. But uh, anyway, that is your 10 for today, and I hope you liked them. If you know anything about them that I didn't mention and um, you want to mention it, please, please leave a comment. If you have any questions about how they work or, you know, if you want me to try to see how to, if it comes apart, you know, or something like that, just shoot me a, shoot me a comment or whatever, and I'd be happy to try to, try to answer questions if I can so <laughs> anyway thanks a lot for watching and um, now we'll do the picture the, the group picture so here's uh, the 10 locks from today thanks for watching